Hey everyone, Vin Abadu here, morning news anchor at WOPM Beach Radio and 94.3 The Point, which is what I have on in the background right now, and of course with the Shore Sports Network as well. I'm going to ma be making a little bit of a snack before the ALCS Game 1 tonight, where my Yanks will be taking on the Houston Astros, hoping to clinch another berth to the World Series since, for the first time since 2009, it's, so it's, it's been a while for us Yankee fans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unlike many other teams' fans, I suppose. So, I'm going to be making a new combo. I tried a new combo of bread, strawberry banana, and trying a couple different things. I'll show you some of the things I'm throwing into the bread and how it's all put together. And you let me know in the comments section below or uh, on our Facebook page or wherever uh, what, what kind of things you like to make for a game or uh, any dessert for any night of the week. I mean, this could be good for any time of the year. I like making different cookies, and breads, cheesecakes my favorite to make. Uh, I also love to grill, make pancakes and chicken and pasta and all that stuff. So uh, cooking's a very fun hobby of mine. I like to uh, share that and share that gift with others. So I'm going to show you how to do everything tonight. I'm going to start by cutting up strawberries and bananas and then I'm going to mash them into the bowl and then uh, work my way from there. I already oiled up the pan I'm going to be using for the bread. I cut off the bottom and the top, I mean, this is a small strawberry, because uh, you don't want that top part in, you don't want the bottom part in, so I usually just go from the middle. I use my fingers to keep it close, this way it doesn't all fall apart at once, and it's easier to cut up into smaller pieces. If you're eating a strawberry regularly, it's fine. But for something like bread or muffins like I made the other day, you want it kind of small so it's bite-sized pieces. I cut up about four strawberries. Should be good enough. You know, I don't want to put too much in there because then uh, it gets too moist and um, gets a little soggy with the bread. So now I'm going to put together the bananas, or not put together the bananas. They already grew. I'm going <laughs> going to cut them up and then mash them. Last step on this counter and then I'll move things over. So I'm just gonna, I mean, you could technically use the back of a fork. Although I think it's more fun to use a potato masher. Next, about a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Then a little bit of extract. In this case, it's almond. And then a little bit of salt. The second to last step before we mix is the flour. You don't want to put too much in because then it'll, if you start putting, pouring a lot of flour into the thing it's going to really rise and expand and in some cases I suppose it will spill over and that'll make your oven very angry and of course put in our strawberry banana mix don't want to forget that otherwise it's just bread which is fine but this kind of adds the flavor to it okay the final step of course is to pour the ingredients from the bowl the mixture we have the strawberry banana mixture into this pan here and then we're going to put it into the oven. All right, here we go. The oven camera. Taking the bread out of the oven. I put it in for about an hour five. I'd recommend letting it sit for about 10, 15 minutes or so to let it finish cooling off before you start cutting it. It is very hot right now. Um, and of course, cut it up and uh, whatever type size pieces you want, big pieces, or you can take those big pieces and cut them in half, of course make two, and save any extra for the next day for a dessert or even uh, to go along with your breakfast. So that's how I make my strawberry banana bread.